Welcome everyone to another Warp World episode of World One on One Podcast. Uh, this is our little mini series that we do whenever there's a little burst of direct news, either from Nintendo or anyone else. You're going to be hearing a whole bunch of these next week with E3 as well coming up. We're going to have one for uh, every one of the uh, the press conferences uh, leading up to the opening of the show floor at E3. So you know, be on the lookout for that. Uh, today, though, we are tackling the uh, the short little eight minute direct from uh, the Pokemon Company. Uh, covering a couple uh, little tidbits of news, and then we'll get out of your hair, and then we'll be back on Thursday with the uh, Yacht Club Games interview. Uh, so make sure you uh, jump in on that. Um, so with me, as always, is our my wonderful co-host, Eddie V. Um, and just to jump into it, uh, yesterday Nintendo announced there was going to be a, a little eight-minute uh, Pokemon-focused direct, and that is exactly what we got today. Uh, speculation floating, you know, for for about 24 hours as to you know what was going to be announced. You know, the the obvious uh, hope slash rumor was that you know they were going to be showing Pokemon Stars, which uh, absolutely did not happen. And I kind of had a suspicion that was not going to be the case because, yep. like hell, they're going to announce that shit in an eight minute direct, correct? Um, especially right before E3. I just it's it's not coming this year, kids. Let's you know let's let's move past that now. It's not coming at um, all. No, I, I think it'll come at some point, but it ain't coming this year. We, I, I still think we may see that next year, but that's a different issue. Um, what we did get this morning, though, was uh, we got an announcement for uh, Pokemon Tournament DX. It's going to be coming uh, in November. No, um, September 22nd. Or September. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, so we're looking at a, a port of Pokemon Tournament from the uh, Wii U with a couple of extra characters added in. Um, you know, all the, all the expected control modes and methods, uh, on show there, uh, they did put out a a two, three minute trailer for it, which, uh, felt like a whole lot of filler actually, uh, and not a lot of real meat and potatoes content. Um, but you know, all your usual, you can sit there and play it in handheld mode and, you know, play it on your TV or, you know, play it with the tabletop mode with the split joy cons, um, you know, I, I we we all kind of suspected Pokemon Tournament was coming, especially after uh, Hori announced that there was uh, going to be an arcade fighting stick for the Switch as well, which is you know something that came about when Pokemon was being announced for the Wii U. So this this was not a terrible surprise. Um, they did say too that uh, coming up for E3, they're going to be showing a little bit more of uh, Pokemon Tournament uh, at their E3 presentation, in particular the uh, live house streams throughout uh, E3 next week, as well as a uh, Pokemon Tournament um, with uh, a couple pieces of signed artwork as prizes. Um, so nothing really super shocking there. Um, you know, I, I fully expect this to be another you know full price sixty dollar game on the Switch. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, Pokemon Tournament was a, a solid piece of software, uh, a decent fighting game. Um, you know, you're going to see three on three battles. Like I said, a few new characters coming as well. Um, beyond that, you know, it's it's something to further bolster out their uh, their year one lineup for the Switch as well, which is by no means a bad thing. Um, I, I do think that this will be a real the real litmus test to see. Uh, how well Pokemon Tournament can do because releasing it on the Wii U, I think it, it put it out there, but I don't think anything on the Wii U is a real litmus test of how well something can can sell and how much you know how much merit it has. Just given that it had such a, a limited install base on a system that just didn't do that well, um, versus something that's you know going absolutely nuts right now. Um, so. Uh, as I've babbled for a few minutes here, I'm going to, you know, turn it over for thoughts uh, from Eddie on the, uh, on the Pokemon tournament DX announcement. Okay. So on the Pokemon tournament DX, like Larry mission, there's going to be three on three team battles. So what's going to happen is, is that if you lose a match, it goes to another player and you switch off. So it won't be like Marvel versus Capcom's three on three, um, 21 characters. They added five new more. Those are Darko, Scizor, Empoleon, Quagnuck, and Decide UI uh, from Pokemon Sun. So he's going to be actually a new character. And for people who are in Japan, uh, they, you know, 
they got some updates for their Pokemon, not Pokemon, for their Pokemon arcade game. Uh, but this is an actual brand new character for the Switch. So people are going to be learning him at the same time the game comes out. Uh, it is a worldwide release, like they said, on September 22nd. Um, there's going to be rank matches, friend matches, and group matches. Uh, June 13th, they're going to when when E3 is going on, they'll be showing some playable demos, and they're also going to have a tournament for Pokemon. So it not Pokemon for Pokemon. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting. And who knows? We don't know about extra DLC. They might mention more about that. There might be a season pass. We just don't know at that point. So they just they just gave us a little tidbit of that. And uh, with that, we should be interested to see what's going to happen because a lot of people did like Pokemon for the Wii U. Um, so having it on the Switch, you know, having this other fighting game with uh, Street Fighter, I mean, Ultra Street Fighter, you know, you'll have two fighting games ready to go uh, for this year. So um, that's the thing with Pokemon. If you can watch the direct and see the commercial, like like Larry said, it is kind of filler um, showing uh, these people meet and then they're close up of their eyes. <laughs> and when the eyes meet, you know, it's a Pokemon battle. <laughs> it's as gloriously goofy as anything you expect from Pokemon. Yeah, but the music was good. I, I really enjoyed the music on that trailer. I was like, this is this is cool. Um, so um, it's it's a really good. It's, it's looking like a uh, a successful title probably in the future. So we um, I see. am hoping it does well because Pokemon tournament I thought was actually a decent little fighter. Yes, you know, it's just like I said it it had the misfortune of being out on the Wii U as did a lot of things, which is why I think we're going to see some of the, the biggest missed uh, games of the Wii U getting ported over to the switch in -hmm. the first, you know, two, maybe three years to try and recoup some of the the cost on that as well as to get it out to a wider market that just never jumped on the Wii U. Well, I think it sold a million on Wii, on Wii U because it actually out, it outbeat some popular game that people thought it was going to spec the sale. That was, but uh, Pokemon on Wii U, it did do good. Um, there might be some balancing issues, so they might also actually fix that. We don't know just yet. Probably when the game comes out, I know some diehard fans will be able to play the game and start telling the difference. So you'll just probably have to wait for YouTube uh, videos of that to come. Uh, but other than that, uh, September 22nd will be that release. They also announced at the end of that video, uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which is coming November 17th. And I'm going to turn it over to Larry for him to talk about that. And then we'll get into one more surprise that Pokemon had. First off, fuck's sake, that's a terrible name. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is horrible. You couldn't <laughs> have come up with anything better, but... Uh... Anyway, so we've got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming, which are sort of new installments. Um, You know, there's already cries coming that it should have been just a a DLC for Sun and Moon. But what what you're going to be seeing here is going to be Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, with a a new alternate story. Uh, So you're you're playing in the same world, just with a different story uh, in those games. Um, They did say that... They will contain uh, some Pokemon that were not in Sun and Moon. They did not, however, they seemed very careful on that wording, did not say that there were going to be new Pokemon. You're just going to be seeing Pokemon in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that weren't in Sun and Moon. So my guess is they're going to be digging up some of the ones from the uh, the Pokedex uh, from you know prior that didn't make it into Sun and Moon and injecting them into Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for this. Well, it looked like in the video that there is some new ones. Uh, and there might be, but they seem yeah. very careful to not say, say new Pokemon. Yeah. I th- so I, I'm, just, I'm expecting another di- direct to focus more on it. Uh, I think they just, I think they really want to just make the big announcement of Pokemon, of Pokemon tournament uh, DX. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Probably August or September, we get a full blown ultra sun, ultra moon, direct that mm-hmm. digs uh way deeper into that but or, or i'll probably say maybe october or first week of november probably because... i don't know it, it feels like it's too close i, I think uh-huh. they want to get the hype train started sooner on that 
Well, they'll probably be dropping stuff like almost every week, like they did Pokemon Sun and Moon. How they were just dropping new information, uh, like different trailers and stuff. Maybe they, maybe they might try that again. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, probably September. I could see a full Pokemon Direct, maybe like a twenty-five minute one. That'd be yeah. uh, not Pokemon Tournament. Pokemon, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. We gotta, I gotta get these snacks right. It's early in the morning, everybody. Yeah, it is. Holy <laughs> shit. Um, so, but, um, but I do. I must say, uh, I kind of like that uh, Pikachu RV. I was kind of digging that. I was just like, someone's gonna custom, but someone's going to custom make that. If it's not already made, somebody will make it. Yeah. So. So yeah, the. One big question that remains to be seen is whether or not they release these alternative stories as full price uh, releases at forty bucks a pop. Though uh, they um, will, I'm I'm sure they will, but I'm hoping they don't. You know, well, um, uh, well, for some people, um, they did have some good sales uh, last year. Uh, definitely, like Toys R Us, they had a buy one get the second one half off on uh or forty percent off on all Pokemon games and that included Sun and Moon. And you also got Yeah, a but that doesn't account games. for the fact though that, you know, they want to charge a full retail price for this. Yeah, but two games for the price of like about seventy some dollars, that's not bad. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm still leery on it. But in any case, mm-hmm. uh the last announcement to come out of uh this morning's eight minute seven in the morning fucking direct um which holy shit who decided seven in the morning was the right time to do this shit but whatever um is that uh they are further propping up the 3ds into its twilight uh years here with the uh virtual console release of gold and silver from yes. uh, Game Boy color um they did announce that they they didn't say it's going to be uh able to access the pokemon bank right off the right out of the gate but that it will have the uh, the Pokemon Bank functionality coming. Yes. So my guess is that it'll probably not be far behind. Um, so I, I think it's a real curious choice to continue to further prop up the 3DS like this, but they seem hell-bent and determined to do it. So at this point, I'm not surprised. I just think it's, yeah, whatever. But in any case, so that's the thing. It's coming. Um, you know, expect those to be maybe – eight, nine, ten bucks a piece on virtual console mm-hmm. just because they are going to end up retweaking them the same way they did with uh, red, blue, and yellow to where you've got the online multiplayer now, um, the Pokemon bank uh, accessibility as well so that you can transfer your stuff from uh, gold and silver, red, blue, and yellow all into your forward uh, DS and uh, 3DS uh, Pokemon games. Um, so, and that's... That's pretty much it. You and, know, it wasn't much. It was a little, you know, eight minute quick shot. Yeah. And the uh Pokemon Gold and Silver will be coming uh September twenty second with the release of Pokemon of, of Poke Tournament DX. So you are getting two games on that day. Um I think this one is gonna sell like crazy. Um uh, I wanna see if I think people might buy gold more than silver. Um, but we shall see. Uh, I'm definitely happy. I definitely was just like, yeah, Pokemon Go <laughs> needs to be on my 3DS. So, yeah, so I mean, it's, I, I'm sure it'll definitely get some movement. Um, you know, I, I know that there is still a, a dedicated hardcore Pokemon base mm-hmm. on the 3DS, and I, I think they're probably a big part of what's propping it up still at this point. Um, not to say that Nintendo isn't making the effort to continue to push it um, with you know, stuff coming up like Ever Oasis, uh, you know, Super Mario Maker out recently. You've still got a few more coming throughout the year as well. Mm-hmm. But, um, but no, I, I really think that in the twilight years of the 3DS, it's going to be the Pokemon fan base that continue to keep that alive and breathing. Yes, I agree. So, uh, but uh, that's it though, kids. Um, like you said, you know, not, not much going on. It's, you know, it, it was just a, Eight minute quick shot from uh, from the Pokemon Company this morning. Um, you know we will be back. Uh, you'll find us back here again on Thursday with our uh, our full blown show with Yacht Club Games. Um, and then, like I said, you'll also see us uh, consistently throughout next week with E3. We're going to have you know one of these uh, Warp World episodes for every one of the uh, the press conferences for all the different uh, companies and platforms. Um, and then from there. Uh, the, the Sunday following, uh, 
E3 closing, we're going to have a full recap show. Um, and then uh, we'll be up, having uh, I'm record, the developers of I'm recording. That's yeah, coming. we're going to be recording with uh, Pencil Test Studios on uh, Father's Day. That'll be out the day after. Uh, and then I promise, I swear to God, we go back to a regular schedule because these last couple weeks have been absolutely bad shit. But we've had a great time doing it and getting yes. all the guests in for you guys. Um, so until then, we'll see you guys in a couple of days. Uh, good night. Oh, and heads up, everybody, yep, for e- um, uh, the EA conference. We will be covering Sunday um, because it is going to be late. So we won't have an episode for you that Sunday night. I mean, that Saturday night, we'll have it actually up for you guys for Sunday. So uh, just be ready for I will for be getting that. everything posted as fast as possible. So Yes, but the podcast will be back. But everybody, yeah, have a great morning. (laughs) And we will talk to you guys later. Bye. Good night.